there and welcome to a not so awesome view today we're taking a look at green lantern's rebirth one which i believe are all one shots so yeah now that's, that's out of the way i want to say i really liked it uh i like jessica cruz i think she's a good character she was introduced back in uh i want to say the end of forever evil somewhere around there because you know uh, a little bit of backstory on her she had the power ring from power ring um because its power is basically to get somebody who's scared and it was it's really weird instead of being brave and being able to overcome fear this one is all about having fear and uh stuff happened in justice league 50 issue 50 and she is now a green lantern and she's kind of like trying to come to terms with that um and we see that in the beginning of the the issue she runs into her sister who's amazed that she's actually left her house uh because she's somebody who's afraid. She doesn't like going out. She's afraid of the world, basically. Which is why it's more like she's so confused on why she has a Green Lantern ring. And then we get Simon, uh, I said Baz, I think. And we get a little bit of him. He seems a little reluctant to have the ring, too. And uh, there's a disturbance. And they both meet up in the same place. And thing go things go on from there, which is pretty interesting. But it looks like they're going to be working together to protect Earth. While... I guess Hal Jordan is going to go check some stuff out. We get a narration throughout it that we don't find out who it is until the end of the comic. And, um, yeah, that is that is my summary for that because it is a setup issue. Um, most issue ones are a setup issue. And even though this is a one shot, you know, we are leading into an issue one of Green Lanterns. And, uh, I will say this it makes me want to read it. I did like Green Lantern, you know, the Jeff Johns run, uh, is good. I haven't read the whole thing, but, you know, from what I read from New 52, I do want to read more of it. I've been wanting to, I just haven't gone around to it. Um, I haven't read really any of the crossovers that much, except for, I guess, when the first Lantern crossover happened. I, I did read that, and I thought that was really good. So, uh, yeah, I mean, definitely, it... It does what it's meant to do. It gets me excited to read Green Lanterns. It makes me want to check out that series. And I think that's a good thing for people who are trying to get into things like this. I think it's a good thing. Now, don't expect, like, classic Hal Jordan or is it... Ooh, I don't know his last name. John, the other Green Lantern that people will probably know more of from the uh, Justice League animated series. So that aired forever ago, so I don't even know how many people remember him. But, um, yeah, I think it's good. Uh, the art in it is definitely, it's good. I actually really like it. I think it's kind of interesting that, um, Jessica's, uh, mask is just like a green lantern thing over her eye instead of actually having a mask. It almost looks like a tattoo or something instead of, like, a mask. But, yeah, it's, it's cool. Um, I'm really interested in her character. I'm really interested in like what's going to be happening you know green lantern i've always liked green lantern i just never got around to reading much as much as green lantern as i want to and this you know it does its job it gets me excited to read more uh really not much else to say about it the art looks good the story sounds sounds interesting the actually main story for green lantern uh i'm actually really interested in now uh, it was definitely one of the better rebirth issues. I'm not saying that the other ones were bad. Um, I think I would rank this maybe above Superman if I'm doing a ranking thing. And the Batman one wasn't the best one to come out, which makes me a little sad. I mean, it wasn't bad. Like none of these rebirth things that come out like this week were bad. But to me, you know, the more interesting ones were this and green arrow and the superman one i guess would be three and batman four which doesn't really mean much it's just my personal opinion on like which one of those were the most interesting but yeah i definitely recommend it check it out if you've been wanting to get into green lanterns now's the best time if you want to get into regular green lantern hal jordan and all of them uh that rebirth issue i want to say is next week it could be the week after that i'm not 100 percent sure but uh just keep your eye out for that um and yeah, I don't have anything else to say about this. It was good. I want, I'm interested in seeing them work together because they didn't seem to get along right away. Um, Simon seems to have his own personal problems and Jessica definitely has her own personal problems. 
and uh, just it seems it seems interesting it looks it, they make a joke about how like why is there another green lantern on earth like there's already i think the joke was there's like already 17 of us when there's like i guess five now or something um yeah it is kind of funny when you think about it like there's all these green lanterns but they're like they're all different races but there's so many of them from earth and uh, they kind of mention on why they think that is but that'll be for later because spoilers will i may be doing them hopefully this friday maybe don't hold me to it I will be doing something involving spoilers of like everything I've reviewed this week and uh, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, like button, maybe, subscribe for more stuff. If you want no spoilers, subscribe for more. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.